Hello campers, welcome to the first official patch notes video. My name is Roro, one of the admins on the Camp MC server. And I'm Selena, one of the managers here on the Camp MC. The goal of this video is to make it easier for players to understand all the changes we've made for the new seasons, so expect more videos like this every season. Man, that just means extra work for us, doesn't it? Uh, oh. Yeah, oops. First off, we want to start off with the simple things we've changed about the server. MCMMO is a main factor into the server, so we needed to balance some of the things in it. You'll notice that we've changed a lot of number values within this feature. For example, it will now be harder for players to get the higher level stats by now tracking your power level and basing how much XP you need per skill based on that. We've also changed mining by preventing the double drop skill from activating on ores that can be fortuned, such as diamond and lapis. Excavation has also been changed to make it so you can get better resources at lower levels. Unarmed and axes have been nerfed and swords have been buffed to try to shift the meta of PvP a bit. If you want to see all the numbers of these nerfs and buffs, you can find it in the patch notes channel in our Discord. If it's in the patch notes, why are we even making this video? I don't know, I just, I just thought it was neat. We appreciate all those who have supported the server so far, and so we've decided to add a few more things to give back to those that support the server through donations, or even just choosing to spend their free time with us. We've readjusted crates to give a better variety of items and as well more ways to get crates, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. You'll find the better custom enchants in the crates, and as well as new items such as god apples, totems, other MCMO stats, and maybe even an Elytra. We're also going to introduce a new type of crate to the server, the monthly crate, which is a crate that you can place down to open a much larger set of items than the regular crates, and the drops change every month! And finally, we've added a small thing for default players by giving you all access to your own slash pv1 so you can use it wherever you are in the world. Hey, hey Roro, did we mention the stuff about the key shards? The, the what? You know... The shards you can craft into crate keys. Uh, uh, okay, let's let's get into the main change of the new season. We're really excited to show off the new game mechanic we've added onto the server. Our main goal is to move away from the factions game mode and really make the camp game mode our own. We still have a lot planned on how we want to accomplish this, but much like anything, that'll take time. If you're a boomer now, that means you'll be an ultra boomer if it'll take that long. Well, you shut up. Okay, anyways, let me introduce to you the villages. We want people to not have to spend countless hours in their bases just clicking a single button for hours on end. We want to make things that have more stakes and be more interactive between the players. First off, these villages are claimed, so don't even try to destroy these villages, or else I will find you. There are three things that you can find in these villages. Loot, traders, and the new grinders. Coming into this new season, you'll notice that all the hostile mob spawners have been taken off the shop, and that you won't be able to use Silk Touch to mine any that spawn in the survival world. This is because we want players to use these grinders in the villages instead of using them in their bases. With these changes to spawners, we've also decided to change the prices of the custom enchants, so that it will be easier and faster to get higher level enchants than before. You'll also find a new section to our shop, you will now be able to store your XP for later use, or to sell to other players. We've also added four new kinds of shopkeepers to these villages. The potion shop, the dye shop, the armor shop, and the arrow shop. Each of these shopkeepers sell, well, what their name suggests. You'll be able to buy their items for different amounts of camp tokens. With this said, we've turned off trading with actual Minecraft villagers, but don't you worry. You can still find those trades within these village shopkeepers instead. There are a total of 16 different villages in the wild area, each having different mobs in their grinders and as well as different items for sale. So make sure you find the village you want before you spend your tokens. But keep in mind, these villages aren't free to use. You'll need to buy access to both the shopkeepers and mob grinders, so make those farms in your camp to get the money needed. And finally, the last thing we added onto these villages are the loots. In each village, you'll be able to find a special loot box that can be looted after a certain amount of time. These loot can include different kinds of items to help with enchants, money, and even some useful Minecraft items if you get lucky. But be careful, these are global loots, so it's first come, first serve. 
I spent way too much time making these. Please like them. There's been a few changes to the camps this season as well. First off, the level cap of all camps has now been raised to level 30, which includes more members that can join your camp, as well as almost double the amount of claim land available. There have also been some bug fixes and more features that we plan to add as the season goes on. If you see anything that might need our attention to fix, please let us know in the bug report section of our Discord. And finally for our last topic, we appreciate how much you all have liked the events we've done on the server so far, so we plan to do even more. You'll notice a new thing that might pop in chat every once in a while. They look a little something like this. Uh... These are the meteors. They crash down on Earth containing special loot that you wouldn't find otherwise. But be careful, because there might be a guardian guarding the loot in the meteor. And you gotta make sure that there aren't any players around either. Haha, <laughs> my loot! We also plan on adding a different kind of event onto the server that is still being made. While it does include the 100 players limit like the last event, this event won't be against each other. Instead, something much more difficult that you'll just have to wait and see. This season also adds something that's been tossed around quite a- Hey, hey, Selena. What? Can- Can I do the meme? The what? You know, the- It's time to do 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 I, uh... Anyways, we've added a way for players to duel each other for money, for fun, or to be rank 1. While there's only one mode of dueling, there are many different kits you could choose from. You can also choose to use your own gear, and even wager the gear that you have on as a prize as well. We still have some plans that we want to figure out regarding the dueling, so look forward to some changes that may come very soon into the future. She means more modes. And that's it. If you want to see the details about all the changes that we've made so far, you can go check out the Patch Notes channel in our Discord. And we'll have all this information we just gave you, as well as some more specific changes, laid out here. If you have any questions, don't be shy and ask a mod or one of us about these changes we've made. While we're no longer in beta, with this many changes there's bound to be some hiccups. So please bear with us while we do our best to balance out gameplay, as well as keep things fun as well. Until next time. I want to go die now. That's the wrong account. No. Hey guys, what's going on? Who are you?